Hello everyone, welcome to Reach Codes. Today, let's talk about the Content Delivery Network or popularly known as CDN. We hear the term CDN or the Content Delivery Network quite often. If you need to know what it is, this is a place to begin with. This is not a system design video and this video is to help you understand the basics of CDN and help answer your interview questions in the simplest way. If you need to understand the CDN system design, there is a system design video in this channel and there is a link in the description as well. Here, let's discuss about what CDN is, what are the benefits of using CDN, how the CDN works and most popular CDN networks in the world, how to set up CDN with an example, best practices to set up the CDN, how to choose the best CDN for your project. We will also discuss about the CDN careers and the books. So let's understand what is the definition of the CDN. CDN is a geographically distributed network of servers and they all work together to deliver the internet content in the fastest way as possible. Variety of internet asserts like HTML, CSS, images, videos are transferred to your devices through the CDN network. Now let's talk about what are the key benefits of the CDN. First, it improves your website load time. In case of CDN, the content is loaded from the closest machine. Since the content is loaded and served from the closest machine, the website loads fast and the performance is awesome. Second, the CDN also reduces the bandwidth cost. A content delivery network reduces the cost of transferring the data because it is placed between the users and the website's hosting servers or origin servers. This model cuts down on the traffic between the hosting servers and the rest of the internet. The third and the important benefit is it increases the availability of the content. Let's say your origin server is down and the content is still available from the CDN network and hence it increases the availability of the content. And finally, I see the security as one of the key benefits of the CDN. Origin servers are protected against the malicious attacks like DDoS attacks. Since the majority of the traffic goes to this distributed CDN, origin server is protected, right? Now let's see how the CDN works. Let's say if you don't have a CDN server, all your content will be in the origin server. Example, like, you know, it may be in the San Francisco server. Now all the clients who are accessing from the New York, Africa or India, they have to hit the San Francisco server to get all the content. In this case, there is no CDN or CDN software installed in between. In case of CDN infrastructure, you deploy your website content into the origin server, for example, San Francisco. What CDN software does is it takes the original content and pushes to the multiple CDN servers across the globe. When you request a web page, instead of web page serving from the origin server, they are served from the closest CDN servers. The coolest part in your CDN servers are strategically located so that the web pages are served faster and much better, much better way. Let's also talk about list of popular CDNs in the market. Some of the popular CDN infrastructures or the softwares are Cloudflare, Akamai, Fastly, you have CloudFront, CloudFront CDN, CDN77, CDN by AWS, CDN by GCP or Azure, and Flywheel CDN. These are some of the popular CDNs in the market and you can use for your application or to the projects. There are also CDNs focused primarily on the video content. If you really want to have a deep understanding of the CDN, I suggest picking any of the CDN and focus primarily on that CDN and try to get a certification out of that. Now let's talk about how to set up the CDN with an example. We will take an example of a cloud fair and we'll see some of the demonstrations as well. It's a three step process and let's talk about the step one. Step one, typically you will have a domain name like example.com. For the website to be active, you will point the domain name to the name servers. Name server is a server on the internet specialized in handling queries regarding the location of the domain names various services. If you don't need the CDN, you will not proceed to the step two. This means your example.com is working without CDN. If you need to add CDN, please proceed to the step two. Now log into the Cloudflare account. Here you have the option to add the site. You must add example.com site and you will get the new name servers. Copy the name server from the step two 
and replace with name servers created at the step 1. What happens after the step 3 is instead of example.com calling the name server created in step 1, it calls the CDN name servers created in the step 2. This means your application from the browser is accessing the CDN servers rather than accessing the origin server. There will be also other configurations in the Cloudflare which are helping to make your website efficient and secure. Please check the Cloudflare documentation for more details. If you deep dive, you will learn more about the advanced CDN configurations as well. And here is a screenshot from the GoDaddy account as well as from the Cloudflare dashboard. Typically, if you want to configure your example.com domain pointing to your origin server, what you do is you go into the GoDaddy account, you map the example.com domain to your name servers. Some of the name server examples are ns41.domaincontrol.com and ns42.domaincontrol.com. If you don't have the CDN configured, what happens is your example.com directly points to the ns41.domaincontrol.com or ns42.domaincontrol.com. Now what we have to do is your example.com has to point to the Cloudfest name server instead of the GoDaddy's name server. Now if you want to bring the CDN into the place, what you have to do is you have to go to the Cloudfire name servers or you have to log into the Cloudfire dashboard look for the name servers like what you have seen on the screen, take those name servers and replace with the GoDaddy's name server. So what happens is instead of example.com pointing into the origin server which is ns41.domaincontrol.com, it will point into the anirband.nscloudfare.com in this example, right? So now what happens is instead of example.com connecting to the origin server, it connects to the CDN server and CDN server in turn connects to the origin server. So the CDN server acts as a bridge between your laptop and to the origin server. Now let's see some of the best practices to be considered while setting up the CDN servers. The first one is automatically cache the static content. This helps to cache the static content and improve the performance. The second one is setting the expiration for the time sensitive content. Example, front page images might change frequently. Logos will not change frequently, so we don't want to have an expiration time for that. And when there is a need for changing the expiration time, you can also go and change at the back end. The third one is use the invalidate the content. The third configuration you have to follow is invalidate the content. What does it mean here is if required rather than waiting for expiration of the content, this will refresh the CDN content immediately rather than waiting for expiration time. We also need to think about the security related configuration. Use signed URL when there is a need to secure the content. Now let's say you have an opportunity to implement a CDN in your project. Let's see what are the things you have to consider while buying a CDN or when you are evaluating a CDN for your system. If you need to choose the CDN for your project, you need to understand the KPIs used to compare the multiple CDNs. Here is a top industry standard KPIs for choosing the CDN. The first one is the DNS response time. The next is the connection time, wait time. Then also you need to check the throughput. You also need to understand the trace route of your application. Similarly, you have to understand the cache rate and the mesh ratio. Also, the finally, you also need to look into the time to purge the file from the edge. Time to load the file from the edge as well too. Now let's talk about the final section of this video, which is CDN carriers, books and certifications. CDN jobs falls under the network infrastructure team. Any company who has online presence are extensively using the CDN and it is one of the specialized areas for the infrastructure and network engineers. If you are really interested in these areas, you should explore the certification options provided by the Akamai as Akamai is one of the popular CDN. Please check the book, A Practical Guide to the Content Delivery Network and the Content Delivery Network Fundamentals, Design and Evolution if you need to know more about the CDN. Hope you understood the key concepts behind the CDN. Thanks for watching.